Hello and welcome to Critical Environment Technologies video tutorial series, Programming PDC Relays. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to program the relays inside the PDC to activate a contact and turn on ventilation fans. If we take a closer look at the PDC from the inside, we notice that there are eight failsafe relays. Each relay can be configured to monitor up to 32 channels for any alarm condition. In addition, up to four external remote relay modules can be added, each with their own eight relays that can be configured and connected to the network. In this tutorial, we will not be covering how to configure the remote relay modules. We are only looking at the relays inside the PDC. A PDC uses a unique identifier, which we call a channel, that is assigned to each transmitter in the network so the PDC controller knows which unit it is communicating with. In this exercise, there are 16 channels, or transmitters, and two fans. We are going to assign Relay 2 to be activated by channels 2, 3, and 7, and Relay 5 to be activated by channels 4, 5, and 7, for alarm conditions that send a signal to contacts that turn on ventilation fans. First we need to assign a relay activation type. There are three types of activation types, all, none, and sends. A relay can be activated by all channels. This is the default setting from our factory. If none is assigned to a relay, that relay won't be activated by any channel unless a channel goes into fail mode and by factory configuration, all the relays will be activated. If sends is assigned to a relay, that relay will be activated by the channel or channels assigned to it. In this exercise, we want to assign specific channels to relay 2 and relay 5. To do this, we need to set the activation type for relay 2 and relay 5 to sends and then assign channels 2, 3, and 7 to Relay 2, and assign channels 4, 5, and 7 to Relay 5. With the PDC open, look for the LCD display and find the 1, 2, and 3 programming buttons to the left of the display. The image on your screen shows an enlarged view of the display and the programming buttons. The programming buttons operate like this. If you want to scroll up, you press 3. If you want to scroll down, you press 1. To save your selection, or to move on, press 2. Before we start, we must unlock the security settings so we can use the programming buttons. The unlock code is 1323. Enter the code by pressing the programming buttons in the order given. You will see unlocked displayed briefly on the display, and then the display returns to normal. Now we are ready to assign activation type sends to Relay 2 and Relay 5. Use the programming buttons to enter the menu item code 2331. The display will start at Relay 1 and progress through all the relays as you press the programming buttons. Relay 1 is sent to all, and we are not really concerned with Relay 1 in this exercise, so press programming button 2 to proceed to Relay 2. Again, by default, Relay 2 is set to All, but we want to change that to Sends. Press Programming button 3 once to scroll to None, and then again to scroll to Sends. Save your selection by pressing Programming button 2 and move on to Relay 3. We are not concerned with Relay 3, so press 2 again to continue to Relay 4, and again to continue to Relay 5. For Relay 5, we want to assign activation type sends. Just like before, to do this, press programming button number 3 once to scroll to none, and then again to scroll to sends. To save your selection, press programming button number 2 consecutively to move on to Relay 6, 7, and 8. When you reach the last relay, press 2 again to finish and exit the menu. The screen will display finished and then return to normal operation. If you make a mistake or pass the relay you meant to change the activation type for, you will have to scroll through all eight relays to the end and then enter the menu code 2331 again and start all over. There is no going backwards in this menu code. 
Now we need to tell the relays which channels to monitor. For every PDC, the factory default activation type is set to all, and the relay to channel numbers are set one to one, meaning channel one is assigned to relay one, channel two is assigned to relay two, channel three to relay three, etc. Using the programming buttons, enter code 2112 to bring up the relay to channel assignment menu. The display will start at Relay 1, Channel 1. We are not concerned with Relay 1, so press 2 to save and the display will show Mon Channel Done. Press 2 again to move on to Relay 2. We want Relay 2 to be activated by channels 2, 3, and 7. The display should show Relay 2, Channel 2. Press 2 to save and the display will show Mon Channel Done. Press 3 to increase the Mon Channel number to 3 and press 2 to save. The display will show Mon Channel Done. Press 3 to increase the Mon Channel number to 7 and press to save. The display will show Mon Channel Done. Now we have signed channels 2, 3, and 7 to Relay 2. Press 2 again to move on to Relay 3 and again to move on to Relay 4 and once more to move on to Relay 5. Stop at Relay 5. By factory default, the display should show Relay 5, Channel 5. We want Relay 5 to be activated by channels 4, 5, and 7. Press the programming button 1 to decrease the Mon channel number to 4. Press 2 to save. The display will show Mon channel done. Press 3 to increase the Mon channel number to 5. Press 2 to save. The display will show Mon channel done. Press 3 to increase the Mon channel number to 6, then 7, and press 2 to save. The display will show Mon channel done. Now we have assigned channels 4, 5, and 7 to Relay 5. Keep pressing 2 to move through the remaining relays 6, 7, and 8. When you are done, the display will show finished and the unit returns to normal operation. This completes the tutorial on how to program the relays inside the PDC. If you would like more information or in-depth training, you can sign up to take our training service courses. Please visit us at criticalenvironment.com or call one 877 940 8741. Thanks for watching.